Ladies and gentlemen, on February 6 this year, European Parliament voted in favor of the progress report of Bosnia and Herzegovina. That was seen as a different approach in describing the state of play in this country than previous ones. Due to the lack of will among political leaders to cooperate with EU representatives in efficient institutions and recent developments when the needs of BNH citizens and progress of the state itself was left aside, such content of this report does not come as a surprise. I will talk about causes of such development, relation of the European Parliament towards BNH, its European perspective, but also some other regional issues with Ms. Doris Pak. Doris Pak, Chair of the Conference of Committee Chairs and Committee of Culture and Education, Ms. Pak is also a member of the Delegation for Relations with Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro and Kosovo, a rapporteur for Erasmus Plus program and on progress on Bosnia and Herzegovina. Ms. Pak, first I would like to thank you for your admirable job you did in your career as a member of European Parliament, especially when it comes to your commitment to the progress of the Western Balkans countries. But I would like to start our conversation with a paradox. Because historic agreement in the Triangle Brussels, Belgrade, Pristina, on the European perspective of the Serbia and Kosovo was made, and the not even minimal compromise between Sarajevo, Banja Luka and Mostar on the European future of the Bosnia-Herzegovina has been accomplished. How would you as a rapporteur shortly evaluate progress of Bosnia and Herzegovina within this parliamentary mandate? It shows that there is no improvement. In the last um, six until eight years we lost time in Bosnia-Herzegovina. We went even back. And I, I couldn't imagine when I was yeah, in the 96, when after Dayton, I, I could not have imagined that at the end of my career here in 2014, we would be in such a situation in Bosnia Herzegovina. There is no political will of the political leaders to fulfill anything to come forward, to come closer to the European Union. It's not the people. I have the impression that is, first of all, due to the problematic Dayton constitution that we have to admit. It's not the guiltiness of, uh, of the people living in Bosnia-Herzegovina, but it is also the unwillingness to, to change something that they can at least come forward. And sex makes me really yeah, sorry, because I feel they are losing so much time and others are going forward. Serbia is now starting the negotiations. Nobody would have believed that this can happen. And this is something which makes a lot of people angry and a little bit desperate because they are not listening. I'm not dictating anything. The parliament is not dictating anything. The parliament is trying to make an analysis and showing in which way this should be solved. But. Uh, uh, I don't want to name any of these leaders, but they are not taking care. But do you think that the Dayton Agreement as a such is in a way a straight jacket for the uh, European perspective on the Bosnia-Herzegovina? Listen, it is there. It was done to end the war and we were happy with it. Mm. But now we see that it is, um, yeah, in, so in some way it is not functioning. Okay, I have nothing against the two entities. If these two entities uh, seeing themselves as part, as part of a whole Bosnia-Herzegovina, not as a state in a state. That's one thing. On the other hand, the Federation is suffering under the heritage they have from Washington and then from Dayton, which means how can ten cantons with so many prime ministers, ministers, a big stuff, how can they work? So many levels are in this federation that there is a lot of possibilities to even be more corrupt than in the neighboring country. That is a problem mm. and I think uh, this should be solved. And uh, I, I was the only one who said it even now 10 years ago. I have just seen when I was cleaning my room, I found a lot of speeches and things <laughs> where I said the same thing I am saying today. And our 
our guilt, we are guilty a little bit that we didn't start at the beginning to help the Federation to function in respect of the constituent people there, but also in respect of a functional, yeah, of a functional structure. And it can be done and should be done. Okay. It's a number of open issues relating to the current uh, situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And this year's uh, BNH Progress Report directly calls on all political parties to urgently adopt uh, changes to electoral law, implementing Sadic Finci verdict, but also uh, reiterates the importance of constitutional reforms in the country to move forward. Uh, and some concrete proposals. Uh, had been uh, put on the table, including simplifying BNH, very complex straight, state structure, ensuring even more balanced um, uh, representation of all constituent peoples within Bosnia and Herzegovina. But uh, what do you think is the best way to reform the stale the system? Yeah. How do you see, uh, generally speaking, yeah. the future of the, uh, of the Bosnia and Herzegovina from this point of the view? I think uh, we have to, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina has to change the Sadi Finci uh, rule. Uh, it is not guilty for this because it was done in Dayton. Unfortunately, they have now to suffer under this. But at the same time, we should also pay attention that uh, the Croats in the Federation are not treated as they should be treated. Which means the last, uh, uh, the last government in the Federation was not done as, uh, as it should have been constructed, but it was accepted by the high representative. So the situ situation become uh, become worse, and now we have the, we have the problem that not only the Sadi Finci case is problematic, but also the situation of the Croats in the federation. But I think. Uh, I, I, I'm not a jurist, I cannot give you any advice, but I think I want to keep the Croats as a constituent part of this country and therefore we, sh we should find a possibility to keep this, but at the same time we should try, you, they should try, not me, we should try to help them to, to structure the Federation in another way. I had in mind, but I was contradicted by a lot of Croats that were blaming me even, but I, I didn't want to be, to, be, to, to be shocking. I said, why we need these ten cantons? It, is not it would be possible to have municipalities, and these municipalities should get the power which is now on the level of the, of the cantons. And in the municipalities, there are a lot of municipalities which have a majority of Croats. So the Croats in the Federation would not be neglected. Uh, so this was my idea. It, perhaps it is a little bit naive, but I don't know. Somebody has to put some ideas on the table that at least this situation should be solved in the interest of the Croats, but also in the interest of the whole country. Yeah. It's an interesting situation uh, with, with Bosnia and Herzegovina. Today it's, it goes without saying that the neighboring countries, Croatia and, and the Serbia, Montenegro, they are backing Bosnia and Herzegovina as a state, not yeah. jeopardizing the borders yeah. or, yeah. or, or uh, existence of the uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. But when moving eastwards, we are approaching to Macedonia. Uh, it's now for sure that uh, not one, but two European Union member states, Greece and Bulgaria, is uh, putting the serious obstacles on, uh, on the future, European future for the Macedonia. How do you see the possible solution of the name issue of the Macedonia? First of all, I feel ashamed. And um, as you as Croat now, we had a little bit same question in, uh, with your neighbor in a certain time when Slovenia didn't yeah. accept uh, yes. your, your approach. And I remember very well that together with Mikkel Ebner from, from Italy, we worked for the Slovenian accession and we said border is not a problem. It can be solved some, somewhere, somehow. It's not a problem. Let them in. And then they were in. And then they were an obstacle for you uh, going forward. So we have seen it once. Okay, that is past. But the same is going on even longer now for Macedonia. And I feel really ashamed that it is possible to hinder a country to go forward. And it is even dangerous because Macedonia was a very, had a very delicate structure. They have 25% of Albanians, citizens, and they have in the Yugoslav time ever been neglected as in quantity negligible. 
which means they were not not in the in the administration in, and they were not in police and so on and so on and you remember the Ochre treaty has ended has ended this situation because it has helped to understand that they have they have the right to use their language in the parliament they have at least the obligation to put them in in the administration and so on so on, to make them equal citizens but this is now a situation where these citizens they are not so interested in the name i think mm. for them the name is not so important and therefore the, the, there is a danger a, a danger that these inter-ethnic problems could could come once again because the, this country cannot go forward because of this neighbor neighbor who is who has this problem with the name so greece would be <laughs> would be, how to say, well advised in their own interest if they would help Macedonia to come forward to avoid that uh, uh, unstable situation once again could arise in, 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 in Macedonia. And therefore I think uh, I, I would be very happy if, if they at least would understand that they should give them a point to start and the long existing negotiations, which will take as long as they have taken with you, for you in Croatia, as long as they would discuss this problem of the name, which is a problem of Greece and not a problem of us. So that is what I, what I, what I hoped what would happen, but I think um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very difficult to be. And the problem is for sure that this, this demand of the Greeks, Greeks has, has created a lot of how to say, also nationalistic behavior in, 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 in Macedonia. So if they have now streets with the name of Alexander or big statues in the city with uh, Philip or wh whoever, that, makes, that creates new problems. But that is not the beginning. The beginning is, is no, and then that is the answer. I hope that at least it can be, uh, can be a little bit come in, in order. Balanced, but uh, in there, there should be will. Croatia is now for almost a year a member of the European Union. Um, I would like to hear from you, uh, do you see um, maybe in a way um, a rebranding process of the Balkans uh, looking from the point of view from the Brussels because it's obvious that one Western Balkans country of course adapt itself on the European standards and now it's a full-fledged member of European Union. It's it can be maybe served as a role model for the rest of the countries which are now negotiating as a Serbia, Montenegro. Of course, don't forget Albania, it's waiting for the candidate status and Kosovo itself upgraded its status recently. How do you see future role of the Croatia in, in the region? I think Croatia should play and I think will play uh, an important role. They can they can uh, they can help them they, they did it they gave the they gave the all the, the translated uh, um, uh, papers documents. documents they gave it to the, the, the countries around but it's not alone i think if there is an approach by the governments of the even of serbia of serbia and of croatia in a way that they stabilize the country bosnia herzegovina as a whole not the entity or the other entity and uh, if they are wise enough not to follow some, some, uh, yeah, some, some ideas of a third entity or whatever, but that they try to help to solve the problem inside of Dayton, improving Dayton, then I think uh, it would be much more accepted if they do it as if we, we, we far away from Germany or from Brussels, we are doing it. We should be careful in giving advices. We should give a helpful hand if they need it. But I think it should come from the region. And because in Dayton there were Croat and, and Serb sitting in Dayton, they have an obligation to, to look a little bit what is the outcome and perhaps to, to help the country to understand. Unfortunately, uh, the, Bosniaks, uh, the Bosniaks themselves they don't see that they have uh, uh, in, the, in the region a counterpart, so are looking to Turkey. I think this makes a lot of problems as well, because Turkey is not a model of, uh, of, of the best democracy. And just in this moment, we can see how difficult it is. And I think uh, I can understand that they try to, to, to get some, some, some pro protection to, against whom? I don't know against whom, but it is understandable, but we should be careful that uh, uh, the player in the role in, in the region, I think, is 
is not Turkey, it's not Russia, it's even not Germany, it is the EU mm. and the neighboring countries. This is the reason what, uh, why I want to ask you about the capacity of the current European Union to be a successful mediator or facilitator uh, within the processes of the Western Balkans as it was as European Economic yeah. Community, European Union yeah. in the Western Europe yeah. during the last uh, 60 years. Yeah. And if European Union repeats itself in their best possible shape as it uh, served peoples of the Western Europe in the future on the Western Balkans, I think the path of the Balkan countries and Balkans people will be in a way easier than without looking at the European Union as a, yeah, as a, listen, as a target. I, I'm German, I'm living close to the French border. There was a willingness of both sides politicians to come to a common approach. Without this we would never have the EU. Mm. So, but as long as in Bosnia and Herzegovina the politicians are not willing to accept each other, to respect each other mm. and to go together forward, then I think that is a problem. We, don't, we didn't have it. It was the war. After the war, there was the idea of Robert Schumann to do this, and he found uh, colleagues to do so. But I don't want to name anybody, but listen, the leaders are not very much interested. And I, I dare to say something. Uh, they are not so much interested to go to the Union because on this way they have to give up a lot of things. There is a lot of less corruption possible in this time. And why should they do it? Mm. And that is my problem. They are misusing, they are so-called, so, so to say, manipulating the, the people in Bosnia and Herzegovina for their own interest, not for the future, for the future of their kids and the next generation. That makes me furious, you see? When I see my, how my kids and my grandkids can live at the same time when they are suffering, under, under crazy things, when I remember this, this, this question of this little boy at the beginning of the year. Yes. It's such a crazy ID little problem. case. Yeah. yeah. It, is such a, it was such a little problem, it couldn't be solved. Where are these parents, where are these mothers and fathers in these parties? I cannot understand. But... What to say? Yeah. Madam Pak, I would like to thank you, not only because we made this conversation. I would like to thank you for all what you did in your long-serving period as a member of the European Parliament. Thank you. I can tell you, I myself got a lot back because I, I have learned so much in this time, in the, Croatia, in the bitter time of Croatia. My first war I have seen, or the result, was in Karlovac, close to the border, in the, in the hospital in Karlovac. I think for me it was an experience I never, I never forgot and it, yeah, it impressed me so that I really was, I'm still interested, not only interested, I'm still in the country and I want to help all these people as you have overcome everything, you are working still on, on, on the situation but all the other countries should have the same possibilities and therefore I am engaged and I lost my heart in the region. Mm especially also in Croatia, but Croatia has managed it and uh, now I hope that in the time when I'm, I'm, kid, I'm leaving the parliament I have more time to, 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 to be helpful with some foundations. I'm not earning any money any longer, I have my pension, but I want to be useful. If you have done it for 25 years, you cannot give up like this. So and I hope, not only for holidays, that I can come to the region. The best possible All rewards, like not only for you, but for us, yeah. to see you coming to fast-changing Croatia. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. As a much. member of European yeah. Union. Thank okay. you. Okay.